Hey everyone, Salesforce Shorts here. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about activating and deactivating Apex triggers. Um, so inside of Salesforce, if you wanna find your Apex triggers, you can just come to Setup and go to Home. Oh, sorry, yep. Go to Home and type in Apex triggers. And that'll take you to the Apex triggers. So inside of our Dev Console, if you want to create or find a trigger from here, you can just go to File, um, go New and Apex Trigger, or go to Open and go to Triggers. And this is going to show you all of your Apex Triggers, okay? So if we open up this a Apex Trigger, this is updating uh, the account amount to, uh, let's just have a look here. Yeah, so this is actually checking the opportunity, um, checking if the opportunity amount is greater than 500,000. 500, and then it runs through the accounts and it sets the customer priority as high, okay? So if you've got Apex triggers in your org that you wanna deactivate like this one, for example, or if you're not sure if it's active, just hit, just uh, go into setup, type in Apex triggers and you'll see the status for it over here as active. So all you need to do from here is just go edit and then you can actually also edit the code from here if you want to make some changes or like comment out a few lines or whatever you want to do. But yeah, once you've made your changes, uh, just check is active and click save. And then that's it. That's going to deactivate the trigger and it's going to be inactive. So yeah, if you're, if you're working on your code and you feel like the trigger is not working, just go into Apex triggers and have a look if it's active or not. If it's not active, uh, just go edit and then activate it again. Yeah, if you found this video helpful, please check out our other videos and subscribe. Thanks.